To the scene by some freak happenstance, you found yourself registered in a street football tournament with nary a clue. How? Who knows? But wait, don't skulk away by some fortunate turn of events. I'm here to teach you with a prolonged montage of shots compiled from FIFA Street. Experimental? Maybe. Pointless? Most certainly not. Here are the street games you need to learn. Start with something nice and simple, five a side. Now, even if you've only got a passing interest in football, you'll surely be on familiar ground here. Whether you played it at your friend's 10th birthday party, down the park with jumpers for goalposts, or in an organized tournament, five a side is perhaps one of the most popular versions of the beautiful game. In FIFA Street, it's largely untouched from what you'll already know. With four outfield players and a trusty keeper, five a side is a fast and frantic game of tactics and tradition. While street football may be dominated by your trickery, flair and finesse, there is a lot of room to move the ball about in this game, and it's a team game for sure. Try rainbow flicking past your man, and you'll emerge on the floor in a tangle of limbs. But with no rules, no fouls, no holds barred, anything goes, including rush keepers. Take that attitude into our next game, though, and you'll be in the sin bin faster than a Cantona Kung Fu kick. This is futsal. Now, a quick history lesson for you. Futsal hails from the YMCA's of Montevideo, Uruguay, where it was created in 1930. Spreading onto the streets of Sao Paulo in Brazil, futsal soon made waves across the world when it was recognised by FIFA as an official sport. Back to FIFA Street, though, and futsal is as hard as nails. Similar to Five Aside, the pitches are expansive, especially by street football standards, and offer a lot of space to play. The same can't be said for the goals. In futsal, it's very difficult to score. You'll either bundle it in off the keeper or have to produce something very special to get it in the net. Good luck. Back to the purity of street football now with our personal favourite mode, Panna Rules. The Panna, more commonly known as the Nutmeg, is the ultimate humiliation and the centre of this intriguing little match of 2v2. Everything's downsized in Panna Rules, the pitch, the ball, the goals. They all feed into the need to up your trickery and it's all about the tricks. Whether it's placing the ball through your opponent's legs, chipping them entirely or simply flicking it past them, Panna Rules actively encourages and rewards flair and skill. Simply scoring will only net you one point. But if you've beaten your man three times before flicking it into the goal, you'll take away a tidy score of four points. Let the other team score, though, and your bank of points will zero itself. So the weakest link in football form, basically. So after that, we're left with the last remaining mode on offer, last man standing. Last Man Standing is the product of months of first-hand research. Forget the computers, though, this was done the proper way. Ball, pitch, players. We knew you just played football all day at work, EA. Now here's the proof. But they've done their homework. Last Man Standing is perhaps the most interesting game on offer in FIFA Street. Channeling the spirit of street football, Last Man Standing is an ingenious game leveller. It's four versus four, but with the unique hook that when you score, you lose a player. This leads to a game that sees newbies and veterans alike brought to an even matching. It's tense stuff, especially when the inevitable one versus one face-off rears its ugly head. <laughs> So, in the space of four and a half minutes, I've transformed you from sofa slacker to street superstar without the need to go outside. Not that this guarantees any level of skill on your behalf when you do hit the streets. You'll just know that futsal came from Uruguay and that last man standing is made up. Yeah, best get practicing for real then.